fans wanting babyface Roman Reigns. I do agree. From a business standpoint, I think that's good for business. Hello everyone, my name is Anonymous something. Join the Ed Gang Network today. It only costs $2.99, motherfuckers. If you don't want to join the channel though, but you still want to show your love and support to the Ed Gang Network, then there are options below. Super stickers, super thanks. You know the drill. It helps the channel either way. Now, on with the video topic. Now, let's talk about Roman Reigns and him going to Raw Netflix in 2025. I've been seeing some posts online on Twitter. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not Twitter, it's X now. So I've been seeing some posts on X, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook groups. They've been talking about, oh, I want Roman Reigns to return as a face. I want Roman Reigns to be a baby face during Raw Netflix. And I kind of agree. Yes, I agree. I want to see babyface Roman Reigns on Raw Netflix. And I think that's what they're going to do in 2025. WWE has a huge, huge deal with Netflix. So WWE is going to want to please Netflix. You know, the people who are running Netflix. So what are they going to do? They're going to give, you know, the Netflix executives what they want. Netflix wants Roman Reigns. They want Roman Reigns on WWE Raw Netflix. So, Roman Reigns is going to be the main star of Raw. The Rock is going to return. Rock versus Roman Reigns. Feud. Storyline. Have Roman Reigns as a babyface at Raw Netflix. I think they are building up to this. They are building the Rock versus Roman Reigns. If you've seen the pattern of storylines, if you're looking at the clues, Solo Sikoa, the Bloodline, that's already a clue. They are already building the eventual Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 41. They're going to want to want to build towards that. So, Raw Netflix, Roman Reigns, he's going to be the champion. He's going to be the world champion. I think that's a good idea. Have Roman Reigns win the world champion. He's going to hold it until WrestleMania. Bam! The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Cousin versus cousin, Bloodline versus Bloodline, Samoan versus Samoan, dream match, box office dream match. That right there is a money match, a box office draw. Now that's going to sell tickets, that's going to sell buy rates, that's going to bring in the casual fans. WWE being on Netflix, you know, Netflix being a streaming service, fans are going to need to pay to watch WWE now and to give the fans you know a bang for their buck to make you know their payments worth it they're gonna want to have you know as much stars on Raw as possible as much mainstream appeal as possible Roman Reigns is a mainstream appeal The Rock is a mainstream appeal put those together Rock versus Roman Reigns there you go for the world title instant ratings instant casual audience that's what's gonna bring the casual viewers to watch raw to pay to watch raw so yes fans wanting babyface roman reigns i do agree from a business standpoint i think that's good for business i think that's best for business but if roman reigns were to be a face i don't want to see suffering succotash roman reigns face I want to see the tribal chief face. I want to see the head of the table face. I don't want to see suffering Sunkatash. I want to see acknowledge me Roman Reigns being a face. That type of character. Keep it. That's how you make this successful. Anyway, what are your thoughts on all of this? You know, Roman Reigns in The Rock, Roman Reigns being on fucking netflix what are your thoughts on all of this put it in the comments below and let me know my name is anonymous something and i'll see you all in the next video i approve this fucking message and as rules